Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a soft glam look and this cute bob from Arabella. So if you're interested in this video, stick around and keep on watching. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Happy 2020 y'all and we are back with another video. I know I'm probably, what is this, like two weeks in? I took a break girl, listen. Okay, I had to go and get my life straight, okay? So we are bald and I'm not gonna be like, you know, doing a whole entire hair thing. Y'all already know how this thing go, okay? But let's just get right on into it. Okay, so the hair is by Arabella. I noticed that like whenever I leave out my hair, like some of you are really, really interested in the hair. Like when I leave out the hair, you're like, what hair is that? Like sometimes I feel like I just don't wanna do no hair. Like I just wanna do makeup. But whenever I do that, it's like, even if it's my, my natural hair, it's like, what about the hair? Tell us about the hair. So we're gonna keep the hair in the show, okay? Because the hair is a part of the show. Let's face it. Whether natural wig or ball, honey, the hair is a part of the show. Am I lying? I know I'm not. <laughs> okay. So, the hair is by Arabella, and this is the second time for me to do a video on this unit. So, um, everything is going to be listed in this, the description box, first of all. I feel so out of place. Hold on. <laughs> I need to get it together. This is their Brazilian Water Wave, and this is the bob, and I absolutely love this. The way that I did this, I didn't... I. I prepped it if you watch from my first video I pre and I'll, I'll link that down below with this as well so if you're interested in that I prepped it to be a glueless style like I just put it on my head and I go so whenever I do that I like to mold my own baby hairs I mentioned this before and a lot of you wanted to see how I do that because the way I cut the lace I cut the lace you know the lace would come around your hairline but the way I did it I cut it right back on my ear that way the elastic and everything it can lay flat because these flaps are always gonna lift up they're always gonna lift up that's just you see what I'm saying so for us who want to be on the go you can do this with any wig I do this with a lot of my units so today I'm really gonna share this with you anyways this is their Brazilian water wave and we're gonna be doing a side part I love a bob with a side part so I'm gonna keep the side part and um, yeah so first things first let's go in and mold the hair I'm not gonna do much to this um, I probably bump up the front but because it's a water wave like it really holds its curl so I'm gonna leave that and we're just gonna okay push through so for my edge control I'm gonna be using ebon and I'm going to be using my what is this freeze spray this is my not freeze spray but basically freeze spray super keep it's a hard spray okay this is by vo5 I get this over here if you have got to be glued like the actual spray the freeze spray use that with this I used to use that with this but I no longer have that like that with this your edges stay all day if you sweat they're not gonna really revert back as quick like it's just bomb okay so you need to go ahead and just do that all right so okay so I'm tapping it into the ebon and as you can tell my edges are natural so I'm gonna try and straighten them out as much as possible just lay them as best as I can without going over it too much without brushing it too much basically because once you brush it too much it kind of like wears down the product and then you see what I'm saying oh that looks good that little swoop swoop shibbity boop boop okay let's get the sides and that will stay like that let's get the sides and then, the sides. And then we're gonna spray it down and tie it you're gonna get your free spray from here let me tell you if you have got to be that's even better I promise you so we're gonna spray it Really spray it down. And as much as I don't like spraying things around my face, like this really works, so gotta bite the bullet and just go for it. Now we're gonna tie it, and I'm gonna tie around my ears as well because I need to get sideburns basically, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna leave this and make it dry. If you have the blow dryer, you can do that, but I'm not, I just don't want any heat. So I'm just gonna wait for it to dry on its own, scroll through Instagram, do all of that. Like I got some time today to play, so we're gonna have a good time, okay? We're gonna wait for this to dry and then we're gonna come back, put the wig on, tie it down once again, and do the deal. Okay, so it has been about maybe five minutes. This thing doesn't really take long to dry. And those little sprays and stuff like, you know, they have like an alcohol base, so they'll dry out really, really quickly. It's always a struggle for me to take out the knot. So we're gonna take it off, then we're gonna put on the wig and we're gonna tie it back up, okay? You want to be nice and gentle. Ooh, lay it. They feel nice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but last time I showed you, it comes with, they sew this in for you. 
So it comes with an elastic band and it has the regular straps in the back, it has combs and all of that. But this type of thing, like, it's so good that whenever I'm going somewhere and I just need something, you know, to look decent, like, you know what I'm saying, just throw it on and go. So this is what I do. Okay, we're gonna bring this forward and line it up so you can tell we look in proper. Okay, pull down the back. It has a comb in the back and I definitely push that in under my braids. Okay, so you're just gonna line this up. Okay, so yeah, all the information for this unit will be in the description box. Really, really, really bomb. I really like this. This is super cute, you see what I'm saying? Nice little off shoulder top. Show that decollete, little bob. If you wanna go in and do extra, you can cut it, but I'm not, cause I like the length that it's on. It's kinda like asymmetrical, you see what I'm saying? Like it comes down a little bit, you get what I'm saying? So. That's what I'm going to do to that. So I'm going to go ahead and tie my edges back up to make sure they stay like that for when I am ready and all of that. So, yes, that's basically it. <laughs> okay, I feel a little weird. I don't know. I need to get it together. I feel off like, what is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, I need to get, oh, girl. I'm going to pull through, though. I'm going to pull through. I'm going to push through. So let's zoom in. So we can get with okay you. so we are zoomed in and the brows are on okay I have a brow tutorial on how I do my brows you guys really love the brows and the only thing is right now I stop like where I start to draw in like the pen strokes I stop there like I don't go to that step that's the only thing that I'm doing different so Today we're going to be doing a soft glam look. So I'm going to be using the Nude Medium Palette by Huda Beauty. I have all three of these and I really do like these. They're very compact and very easy to work with. And I love new palettes just as much as I love my color palettes in case you guys did not know. So we're going to be doing a soft glam. Now my understanding of the soft glam look is everything is matte. Everything is matte. There is hardly any shimmer anywhere. So. I'm gonna stick to that. So, first things we need to do is go in and do our base. So I'm gonna be using Tan by Black Opal. This is their concealer, I really like this. And I know a lot of you have been asking me for the P. Louise base, like please try the P. Louise base. So I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, just wait. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna try it, okay? Okay, so for this soft glam look, and this is my first time to play with this particular palette. I've played with the dark one and the other one, the light one. I've played with the rich one and the light one. This is the medium one. I really like this. Look how pretty that is. Like, come on now. You cannot tell me you are not in love. Okay, so we're going to go in with that darkest brown right there. And with that, I'm going to start to build my crease area and my outer V area. And first, I'm going to tap it in. You guys, you guys already know the drill. I know you know. Okay, so we're gonna tap it in, and then we're gonna go in and blend it out. Okay, so I have the color placed, so now I'm gonna go in and set it, and I'm, for that, I'm gonna be using honey. I have made up my mind. I'm no longer gonna be using kunafa powder only. Whatever I'm gonna be using to bake on that particular day is what I'm gonna be using to set under my brows. I'm gonna stop playing myself and pulling out extra products, because a lot of times I pull out that powder, and it's the only thing that I do with it, and I put it back. Like, what's the point of that? Okay, so today I wanna bake with Fenty. So I'm gonna be using honey. It's basically the same color, a little bit more... I don't know, orangey, like Kunafa is like really yellow and bright and this one is just a little bit more toned down but I feel like it's the same thing because they're kind of like on the transparent side, they're not really fully pigmented, you know what I'm saying, like, you get what I'm, do you understand <laughs> what I'm trying to say man, okay. So we're going to pat this in and set that concealer and this is going to give me a nice slip in there and this is what's gonna really help with blending. Okay, next on the menu, I'm gonna be taking this rusty shade right here, and with that, I am going to start to blend that out. A lot of people would have put that down as a transition shade and then going with this. I'm gonna be working in reverse because I want that, you know, that pigmented color, that dark brown color, so. And I'm gonna be using the fan type of, the dual fiber fan type of brush. I find that this really is it's so soft and it's great for this type of thing. So I really like blending out with this brush, I need to get me some more. Like this is something you definitely wanna stock up on, basically. Okay, this is gonna be a super easy look, okay? <laughs> so, I need to go in and make my lid area a little bit more tacky. I'm not gonna be cutting the crease or anything like that. I'm just gonna be adding some more product because we need to go in with a matte shade and matte and matte tend not to mix. So if I want it to grab, I need to reapply my base. 
I'm gonna go in and just pat that out. And we're gonna go in with a matte shade right on top of that. Okay, so for my lid, I'm gonna be taking this color right here. And with that, I'm going to pat that all over my lid. And I'm contemplating, do I wanna line my eyes? I'm gonna line my eyes, yeah. I'm gonna line them. <laughs> line them. Okay, so we're gonna pat this on all over the lid. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm gonna go in with that dark brown again and do my lower lash line. You guys know the drill. I like to do my lower lash line before I go in and do anything else. What is that? Get away from me. Like when I'm, I wanna, be, I just wanna be finished with the eyeshadow. Like that's my thing. Okay, so for my liner, my new fave, this is a must. If you don't have this, go and get this. This is by Melt Cosmetics and this is called Immortal. This is so creamy and so pigmented. Ugh. Like it's not stiff, like it's just perfect. You hear me? And for my liner, I like to use a lip brush. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip brush. It comes in that little lip palette. So I love a good lip brush for, I've always loved a lip brush for my liner. Whether thin or thick, like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, this, it's my thing. Okay, so let's go in and line. For my lashes, they are called Belladonna, and they are by Lady Lash. She sent me a bunch of lashes, and I absolutely love her lashes. They're really, really, really bomb. Also, another question that I always get, what lash glue do you use? I buy it here in Japan. It's called DUP Eyelash Fixer, and that's what it looks like. This is the black one, and they also have the clear one. So, yeah. It's the brush-on type, basically. And it has a really strong hold. Like you have to be careful with this one. Like she will pull out your lashes. <laughs> That's what she be doing. That's why I ain't got nothing now. This one is for this eye. Girl, let me do this off camera because honey. <laughs> okay, so the lashes are on, so it is time to zoom out because we gonna show out. Okay, let's get this self glam going. Okay, so for my face, first things first, I haven't changed up anything, okay? New Year, same old me. Y'all already know the drill. <laughs> okay, I ain't changed nothing. If it ain't broke, okay, what you trying to fix? So this is the Nivea Soft Cream in the white tube. I did put on a sheet mask before this, so I'm well moisturized. I don't need a lot, so I'm gonna be using the soft one today. Okay, for my second primer, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Matte, True Matte Primer, and I really like this. So I'm gonna put this in the areas that I tend to get mostly oily, which is literally the top of my cheeks and my nose. That's the biggest area. I'm gonna also be using Fenty today and I'm over it because there's not one of these that I have that is like a dead on match so I don't really mind mixing I have been mixing all my life like there's never been just one color out there for me so Huda is the closest like that I can really just go and you see what I'm saying but I really love Fenty as well like the formula is so bomb so today I'm gonna be mixing 390 and what is this, $4.95. I have a bunch of like close skin tone types, so I'm just gonna be rotating back and forth with this. I don't know, like, okay, it is what it is. So we're gonna be doing that, but before we do that, like, what is wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I be forgetting this step, and it's the most important step in the game, and that is with the MAC Paint Pot. This one is groundwork. I have three of them I rotate between. I have Paintly, Girl Friendly, and this one. Okay, so I have my foundation mixed up on the back of my hand, so we're just gonna go ahead and apply that. I'm gonna apply it with my finger first, and then go in and stipple it out with the sponge. I never show you guys this, but you wanna blend everything down into your neck. And I always do this with a brush. The only reason I don't show this is because I can't talk like that. <laughs> okay, it's time for my concealer. I'm gonna be using 380 by Fenty. And we're just gonna carve this whole entire situation out. And then we're gonna move on to contour because that's what I like to do. The only reason I like to do that is because when I blend out my concealer, I wanna set it right away, so. Okay, for my contour, I'm gonna be using Suede Mocha by Black Opal like this it's just it's gonna give me a soft contour like it's not gonna do a whole lot 
and it's on that tone that I love. You see what I'm saying? Like that red tone, get under the jaw, just go right around the whole entire thing, okay? And it's time to push this back so we can get that hairline. Don't. <laughs> Baby, he is. Try not to mess them up. Mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and start to blend this out. Just kind of pushing it up and keeping the lines nice and soft. Do you see like how beautiful that is already? And it's not harsh, like it's not heavy, but you can still see there's a little bit of definition there, like that's what you want. Okay, let's go ahead and get around this hairline. I really need to get me some gots to be spray, like. I see a lot of you offering me to send it and stuff like that. I'm gonna set up my PO box and see what happens. Okay, so it is time to blend out that concealer. So let's go ahead and do that. And for this, I'm gonna use my sponge. Like I'm back to my sponge, cause it's just faster. Okay, so like I said, I love to go in and set it right away. That way it doesn't crease under my eyes or anything like that. And with this, I'm gonna use a powder puff and then I'm gonna bake with the Fenty powder. But first I wanna set this with a more dense powder. Like I'm not gonna set this with a loose powder. When I set this with a loose powder, I always feel like it's kind of stiff. And with whatever is left, I'm not gonna dip back in there. <laughs> I swear something is wrong with me. I'm just gonna use this and kind of pat it and set the rest of the concealer. Basically, that's all I'm gonna do. Now, for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use Nutmeg. This is also by Fenty, and I'm gonna use the butt of my damp beauty blender. I kind of just use the same beauty blender that I use for my foundation, because it still does the job. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to bake, so I'm gonna go in with Honey by Fenty, and I'm just gonna press this right up in this area, I'm gonna leave it and contour my face and my nose. Like we're almost done. We are almost done, the look is almost done. I'm just gonna do that area right there and I'm gonna put a little bit down the tip of the nose to help with the contouring. Okay, so it's time to bronzify cause we gotta catch papi eye. Okay, Fenty Beauty Mocha Mami. Ay, papacita, mamacita. <laughs> Comio, like what? I'm gonna skip under my chin. I feel like I don't need it, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna skip that. So for my nose, I'm gonna go in with NW45 by MAC. And we're gonna chisel and give it a shape and blend this area right here, this little weird section of the face <laughs> that always tends to get missed. I kind of fix that with my contour. Okay, so I'm done with this bake. I don't leave it on for long, you see what I'm saying? Like. I don't want it to get too cakey or feel too tight under there. So with this, I'm just gonna go in and start to pat it out until it dissolves. Okay, so I'm gonna be cheating a little bit. This look is not supposed to have any shimmer in it, basically, but <laughs> we gonna do a little bit of shimmer, honey, because y'all already know. So I'm gonna be taking this little gold shade right here, okay? But very lightly, very lightly and politely, we're going to just dab that right there just a little piece i'm saying nothing too much does it look like it's overdone no okay so you just want to tickle that area with it you know what I mean? you do a whole lot. okay so we're getting down to the finishing touches so next i'm gonna go in with genesis by melt cosmetics and we are going to highlight with this even though there's not supposed to be any shimmer I'm gonna place the shimmer exactly where I love to place the shimmer and I'm still gonna have that matte look. You get what I'm saying? Cause I don't like to place the shimmer all over my face but I do love this little part right here to shine. You know what I'm saying? Like my skin is naturally shining, look at that. Like I don't need all this, you know what I'm saying? A little touch, a little kiss of these, okay? And then I'm gonna switch to a smaller blending brush and with this, I'm going to tap the tip of my nose and blend that out. I'm gonna get the ridge right here and a little bit on my cupid bow. Just a little, nothing too, nothing too cray cray. Just a little, you, you see what I'm saying? So we still kind of look, you see what I'm saying? Soft and soft glam. <laughs> 
Okay, for my blush, Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette, and we're gonna go in with Mayo. You guys already know, I'm not even going, okay. It is so pigmented, and it, it will last you forever. Like, a little goes a long way. Okay, so I absolutely love this hair y'all I'm not gonna lie like it's just so easy and effortless like <laughs> you're ready to go anyway so for my lips we're gonna keep the lips matte as well and I'm going to be using Fenty I'm gonna be using two of her stunner liquid lipsticks one is on button one is on veil but first we need to go in and line them so I'm gonna go in with BFF 3 and pitch first BFF 3 and then slightly with pitch and then I'm gonna see if I want to go in with the darker one on veil basically just okay just work with me okay work with me okay so I feel like I'm not gonna need unveil the darker one so I'm just gonna go in with unbutton which is the nude one and I absolutely love this formula this whole thing like it's just everything and you don't need a whole lot And that is it for this look. Okay guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to check out Arabella Hair. All the information for this unit will be in the description box. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I really do like this. I feel like I wanna do another take because there's another way to do soft glam. So let me know if you guys are interested in that and I'll hop right on to that. Yes. If it is your first time here, welcome to the family. Please go ahead and subscribe, join us. We are a happy bunch. We keep it nice and positive in here. Please follow me on all of my social media platforms, which is Instagram, Snapchat, and all of that good stuff. Comment down below because I wanna hear from you guys. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me. You know, it makes YouTube know that you really like my videos and kind of pushes me out there. Like, I'm not gonna make it if you guys don't help me. So, please go ahead and do that. Yeah, and I love you guys so, 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 so much and on to the next video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you guys really soon on the next one.